Senator Stein has the floor to speak to the bill. Well, I agree with Senator Gunn on one point. The lake is polluted. Jordan Lake has drinking water for about 300,000 North Carolinians. 1.2 million went through the state parks to enjoy it, and hundreds of thousands more used the boat ramp. Fishermen, swimmers, boaters, campers. And it's polluted because there's too much algae. Excessive nitrogen and phosphorus creates that. The way he talked about we need to process, engage the stakeholders, come up with a way to come up with some rules that make sense is completely devoid of history. Fifteen years ago, the General Assembly enacted the Clean Water Responsibility Act, which called for rules to limit pollution in Jordan Lake and upgrade, and upgrade wastewater systems upstream. Required those changes to be made by 2003. 1999, several Hall River communities saw the delay so there could be some modeling, pollution modeling of the lake. That was actually a good idea. That took a few years to do. Diener started the stakeholder process to draft rules in 2003, 10 years ago. 2005, there were draft rules offered to deal with the pollution. But Greensboro and Burlington saw additional delay. So Diener went through a second stakeholder process. 2006, there were 27 stakeholder meetings, and the Senate to the Environmental Management Commission, 2007. 14 meetings with stakeholders in 2007. In 2008, it went to the Rules Review Commission, had five meetings on the Jordan Lake rules. Throughout the entire process, all stakeholders, municipalities, uh, developers, agricultural interests, they were participating at these more than 50 meetings. It already happened. It came to the General Assembly, a disapproval bill, just as we learned, talked about earlier about the administrative process. I vote of 108 to 9 in the House and almost unanimously in the Senate, we agreed to extend the date for Greensboro to improve its wastewater treatment plant from 2014 to 2016, and for new development ordinances to be pushed to 2012. Well, last session, y'all moved the Greensboro wastewater plant date from 2016 to 2018, and the new development ordinance to 2014. The last I knew, we're in 2013. Senator Gunn expresses amazement that there's been no improvement in the lake. The reason there has been no improvement in the water quality of the lake is because the rules have not taken effect yet. Y'all keep putting them off. I accept this notion that there are inherent problems with Jordan Lake. It's a shallow lake. It's going to have its problems. But to conclude from that, that we do nothing and we eliminate all rules that deal with the pollution that flows into the lake is inane. By the same logic, somebody who is genetically overweight shouldn't be concerned at all about what they eat. Eat all the sweets and sugar that they want. It's okay because we will treat them for diabetes. That is what this bill says. Let's treat it at the source Let's not limit the amount of new pollution that comes in. There's not a doctor in the country who would recommend such a foolish course. And yet that is precisely what this bill does. <laughs> Again, the cost that Senator Gunn pointed to for the Jordan Lake rules, he pointed to CARE, having to spend $2 million to treat the polluted drinking water. The solution in this bill is for CARE to spend more money to pollute, to clean up even more polluted drinking water over time. That is not the solution. Kerry adamantly is opposed to this legislation. The Jordan Lake rules will improve water quality, protect public health, and benefit the region's economy. Eliminating these rules is incredibly short-sighted. Kerry is one of the fastest growing municipalities in the country. The Raleigh Kerry Metro area is the fastest growing in the nation. It was selected as the number two 
best place for business and career? Just today, Forbes magazine named Cary one of the best city, cities for jobs. It's home to SAS, a world-class institution. Year after year, named as one of the best places in the world to work for families. It's home to the MetLife expansion, it and Charlotte, 2,600 jobs. State invested tens of millions of dollars to bring MetLife to care. So what, they can have more polluted drinking water? You pollute Cary's drinking water and you damage our state's ability to thrive economically, to create jobs for the people of the state, and for the people of Cary to contribute mightily to the tax, to the general fund through the income taxes and other taxes it pays. This is a, an extremely short-sighted bill. To eliminate the rules that have been under construction for 15 years, it is completely ahistoric. It, it assumes that nothing has been worked on, that no perspectives were included. Please vote against this legislation.